In this video, me and some fellow artists attempt to trick each other by drawing fake screenshots from our favourite shows. Do you think we'll be able to spot the fakes without hesitation, or will we be fooled by screenshots that are so convincing that they are indistinguishable from real ones? Make sure to stick around to find out. Which of you is brave enough to volunteer to go first? Who is confident in their drawings? It was not. I'm not. <laughs> Why don't you just start Skynix? <laughs> really? You know, it's your <laughs> channel. Okay, okay. I'll I'll start. I'll start. So the first screenshot I wanted to fake uh, was from the show Chowder. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it, but that was one of my oh like my favorite gosh. childhood shows. It's just so zany and whimsical, and it's known for breaking the fourth wall all the time. And I love the style as well for it. So let me show you uh, the screenshots I've got here. I've got three screenshots. So first up, we've got this screenshot of Chowder cooking Mung Doll in, in this human soup he's making here. Next he would up, never do that. <laughs> we've got Chowder holding some very spicy burgers, it looks like. And lastly, we've got Chowder licking an oversized lollipop. All fake. <laughs> <laughs> now obviously one of these isn't a real screenshot i have drawn it so what do you guys what do you guys think anyone have any ideas which one which one's the fake screenshot i have one... a sneaking suspicion but uh i, I want uh, i, I want to hear what everyone else has to say first <laughs> i think the second one because i don't ever recall them doing a spongebob crossover <laughs> oh because they're crabby like, patty look like like patties <laughs> I was also gonna say the second one because uh, there's actually a couple of reasons. Because first of all, it's the only one that has the Cartoon Network logo. Oh, maybe maybe which that's a, a, a double trickaroo I've done there. Maybe maybe. Yeah, yeah, it could also be a red herring. But the main reason it's because it's the only one where the background is blurred. Oh, like none of the, the only, others have it is a the blurred only one background. The focused background. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the last reason it's because you said this is an old show, right? I guess it's I feel like old. the I feel like the facial expression on the character is very like post steven universe cartoon and it feels a little bit modern to me but who knows maybe they were visionaries <laughs> so but that's my guess also the background looks a lot like box blur to me and i'm not sure if that's something oh. they commonly use in cartoons if they do blur it's usually gaussian but this looks like box blur okay okay it's getting so. technical <laughs> yeah so, i have no getting, i have no idea what that means you're getting dismantled cap piece on. by piece this is a more, a more brutal challenge i love people than, brutally uh, dismantling my art <laughs> but yeah so what i've gathered is zeppin and murray you both you guys both think it's the second one what about harry yes. what one do you think it is uh, my money is indeed on number two. Okay, so it seems you all have voted for number two, you think, is the one I faked. Are you ready for me to reveal which one, which one it was? Yes. Okay, so for this chowder screenshot, I came up with a couple ideas of like all these zany things the characters could be doing for this fake screenshot. Uh, I really liked this one in particular of chowder cooking Mung Doll alive, because I just thought that was really funny and it's something that could actually happen in the show. Uh, but yeah, matching the style of chowder was pretty difficult because my style isn't usually as like cartoony and zany as chowder's is. Chowder's got a very recognizable style, so I had to make sure to draw the characters like perfectly in in that kind of style in that kind of zany cartoony way to get them looking just right i think after referencing the characters a lot i managed to do it quite well i think they look pretty good pretty pretty on model if i do say so myself the hardest part of this drawing was definitely the background because oh my goodness the backgrounds in chowder are just crazy I, trying to match that kind of style was really difficult but in the end i think after like i added all these like watercolor textures and paint textures to my background i think it looked pretty similar Similar to the style. I'm really happy with it. I think it's really convincing. Uh, let's see if I fooled anyone. You clever son of a goat. As you can see, the first one where uh, Chowder is cooking Mung Doll in a pot is the faked one. You are all oh, wrong, no. and I have successfully fooled you. Well that done. was like so legit looking because I was like, no <laughs> way you drew the whole background. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I'm just so shocked. And like, was the second one like an actual screen? Yeah, shot? it's an actual, it's an actual scene from what? the show. I picked that one because like that looks so fake. This so <laughs> threw it in. Yeah. It it did. Mm -hmm. It feels a lot more modern. It's like it's it's weird. Dang, good job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. you had us all duped, and we were like not even suspect. We were just like, <laughs> "Yup, it's two. We're <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Ready to be correct. <laughs> all right. Should I see if I can fool you with my second one? 
Yes, let's go. Give it a go. Round two. I think now we're we're, we're smarter, you know. We're <laughs> All on me the again. Floor. Okay, so for the second show, I wanted to draw a screenshot for. Uh, I had to draw another one of my fan favorites, a show that definitely had a big inspiration on what I consider to be my current art style. Uh, I drew a screenshot for Avatar: The Last Airbender. This show needs no introduction. I'm sure you all know what this is about. Hopefully, you've all heard of it. I have seen the entire show. So if I fail this, I will be very disappointed in myself. So let, let's take a look at the three screenshots we've got here. So first up, uh, we've got Aang and Katara looking off camera. Aang in some kind of, not in his usual uniform, he's in some kind of earthbending gear. Maybe I drew him like that to confuse you. Maybe it's a real screenshot. We'll see, we'll see. Next up, we've got a screenshot of Aang uh, doing, I guess, like practicing some fire bending, looking a bit maybe disappointed in it maybe can't get that fire going and lastly we've got a screenshot of Toph doing some earth bending so one of these is obviously fake two of them real what are you guys thoughts this is difficult <laughs> it oh is <laughs> i want to go last now <laughs> dang dude you you killed this <laughs> thank you thank yeah. you it's tough. Oh my gosh, and this has like got a personal tang to it as well, because if I fail this, I'm I'm not a true fan, am I? <laughs> what do you guys think of the lines on the tough one? They're slightly thicker. Yeah, mm. that's what I was thinking and that, too. And that JPEG compression is pretty hard. Like, you'd have mm. to put that- Pretty crunchy. Yeah. Maybe it's just a bad yeah. screenshot, who knows? Yeah, maybe it is. The expression yeah. on Sokka's face looks suspiciously similar to the one in Sky's profile picture. Oh, uh, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're reading a bit crazy, too far into crazy it. Crazy conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> You're connecting all the dots to find this out. That is so funny. But yeah, the expression, I, I, I feel like I shouldn't call out the expression this time around because last time it was a big failure. But yeah, I also noticed it. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm inclined on that one, but I, I, I don't know. One thing to note, the first one, the background is very simple, but we know that, that Sky is very capable of the background. <laughs> we know that I'm a tryhard <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. True. I do not think you would paint rocks like with such... Because like, these rocks look like traditional art, right? Like they look like they were hand painted. I don't think you would go that far for this challenge. Maybe I'm wrong, but like the, the background on the third picture looks more digital to me. I think I'm still sticking with number three. I think number two is definitely real. Okay. Yeah. That's just asking for trouble. Saying <laughs> that. Like, come on. You're, you're, you're juicing yourself ahead of time. I'm just walking right into it. Yeah, it is like, cue the curb your enthusiasm. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Da 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 da. You were right, but we also need content, right? Gotta take the dive for laughs. I'm gonna what take one for the team. I'm It'll gonna, be... I'm gonna choose number one. Just, just so we number mix it up one. a little, okay? Okay. Because okay. I don't want to be hot on number three and then we're all wrong again <laughs> so you guys <laughs> that be would right. be unfortunate so we have like a we have a two out of three chance all right <laughs> that's as, true. A, as a collective of guessing people so Zippin thinks it's number one and harry and marie you guys both think it's number three right yeah i'm still getting dodgy vibes from number three but i'm i'm i'm, I'm ready <laughs> for a fall this is the fake screenshot for the screenshot i had to draw my favorite guy from avatar top I didn't find like the drawing process of this screenshot too difficult because the style of Avatar is very similar to like, I'd say it's very similar to like my current style. So like getting all the proportions right uh, and like referencing the characters wasn't too hard. Uh, I decided to draw Toph in her firebending outfit, just, you know, instead of her regular outfit to just make it just a little bit more convincing that maybe it's a real screenshot instead of, you know, going for the basic choice of just drawing her in a regular outfit. All the backgrounds in Avatar are like hand painted. So I made sure to hand paint this cool like cave background along with like adding some textures, some rock textures in there to make it look a bit more professional. And of course I had to draw Sokka in the back streaming his lungs out because why not? Uh, but yeah, I think the screenshot looks really convincing. Let's see if I fooled anyone. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. I'm pretty proud of this one. The soccer face in the back, though, that is definitely very my style compared to like an actual official avatar style. So that might have been a giveaway. If I just saw it around, I'd absolutely believe it. Like they, they yeah. did do oh, that yeah. sort. They did do that sort of thing. But you know, when we're playing a game of 4D chess, you got to take <laughs> what you can get. Oh, but yeah, I felt like the second screenshot was very traditional art looking when it came to the background. The third one felt more digital. Mm. 
right with like the, the lava glowing all that stuff but good stuff how about you youtube commenter did you get this that one right <laughs> Gotta get that engagement. Like We're all freaking content creators, goddammit. If you got it wrong, come wallow in the hole with me. There's, there's plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> should we keep should we get track of the points, see if we get a winner? Cause I let's see, because I've tricked on the first one I tricked all three of you, and on the second yeah. one I only tricked one of you. So let's say that's four points. For, for me. We'll see we'll see you can trick the most people by the end of this. Oh I okay. like that. Which one of you brave souls are going to be next? I'll go next. <laughs> okay. Might as well take the hit early. I have time to recover <laughs> and, and feel better about myself later. Okay, so um, obviously I had to choose Yokai Watch. I'm obsessed. It's basically my whole personality. Both my batches of screenshots are from this show. So I've decided to draw the main character, Nate. Whisper and Jibanyan because they're just such a cute trio. They're iconic. They're classic. Yeah, it's Yokai Watch. <laughs> Couldn't do it without them. Alrighty. So, which one do we think? Mm, looking at these, if I had to pick one, I think number one is standing out to me just because of the proportions of uh, Nate. Because I have seen like Yokai Watch a couple of episodes before. It's just the proportions of number one, they just seem a, a bit off. But I don't know. It does look quite professional though but if i had to take a guess i'd probably say number one i think i'll agree yeah like i think the eyes feel a little bit bigger than you know what level five usually does if i had to guess i would say oh the background's really good though i really like if you did this one i really like the way you did the metal <laughs> if you did number three and that background like hand draw the whole thing you yep, like good job <laughs> but we'll, we'll see i'm to not be sure fair, this could also be like retcon no yeah. it's not called retcon <laughs> oh, right it's yeah. like a trap up. Yeah, yeah. And a red two herring. Would be like the face. Red herring, yes. There could be some big brain players going on right now. Yeah. yeah, what if you're giving me all these compliments that I actually can't soak up and I'm like, <laughs> God, this is <laughs> the backgrounds though. But now I'm thinking Come it's number on. two because you could, you might have just chosen a screenshot that you that you thought would fall for. You know what? I'm, I'm going to change. I'm going to change my answer to number two because yeah. I think that might have been what you've done. I Either think I'm still going to go with number one. The proportions of the character on the left in number one have me wondering, but the character on the right in the same frame looks quite authentic to me. I am going to take the long shot punt and guess number three. Ooh. We've each guessed a different one. Okay, who will be correct? For the second drawing, I also decided to reference the screenshot pretty closely, although I changed how close Nate was to the camera and changed the perspective of the background a little bit. I did color pick this time and try and use a similar line art style. I think I captured Whisper quite well, but there's something about Nate that just feels a little bit zeppy to me. So here's the final screenshot. I'm pretty happy with it, especially how the background turned out. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Damn, it should have started with my instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I fooled two people? That's yeah, so yeah, good. you got two, fooled two people already. Let's good go. job. All right, Keen. This is where my second one comes in. I decided to draw um, a few different characters because, you know, got to draw the, cl the classic three, but it gets old Ooh. sometimes. So we had, to, we had to mix it up. You know we did. So here's the three screenshots. Which one of them do you think is the fake, the phony? Okay, okay. I think... I do not recognize the character in number two. I haven't seen that much Yokai Watch, but it's even so. I've never, never seen a character like that in this show. So I'm just gonna. I don't know if you like drew like like a Yokai you found and put them in, or this is an actual Yokai like from from the show. But it just doesn't. It just doesn't. I just can't think. Is this real? No, I have to vote number two. That's not a real Yokai, is it? If it is, I'm gonna look so stupid. I mean, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> yokai are pretty like varied, right? I have not seen two seconds of this show so i'm <laughs> totally lost i mean you you've one of them's very authentic from a from a layman's perspective you've achieved that successfully i'm gonna vote number three there's a lot going on maybe mm. it's trying too hard mm. all these roses oh, I, and I agree with you. And bubbles and an egg question mark <laughs> egg egg what is he's that holding white his hand, hand. oh he's holding the hand oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
threw is just like holding a boiled egg. What, what, what's the egg for? No, that's definitely I... what the episode was about. Please, I gave birth, Nate. Take care of your <laughs> child. It's now I had to send to Yokai Heaven. Goodbye. Nate, take this egg. Keep it's it very warm. important. <laughs> I also think it's number three. I'll stick um... with number two, is my guess. Okay. Yeah. For the first drawing, I referenced an actual screenshot from Yokai Watch and just decided to change around the expression of Whisper a little bit. I was actually a bit worried about this one because I didn't color pick from the actual frame and I didn't really emulate the line art style of the show, instead using this sort of like fuzzy brush. But I think it came together pretty nicely with a bit of that motion blur cartoon effect and JPEG compression. I think this looked like a pretty convincing screenshot. It was indeed number three. Oh. I did add the extra fanciness, trying to have a bit of a red herring that it stands out. So maybe you might choose the simpler ones, but it was the lack of yokai knowledge that <laughs> scored me one point in the end. <laughs> the, the goddamn like roses and sparkles in number three, that looks so legit. Like I can see that it happening does. in an anime. It's it was effective looks... and stuff. It looks totally authentic to me. Thank you, thank you. I chose those other screenshots. Well, one, because Komasans is really cute. That's number one. <laughs> but number two, yeah. Sky, even as someone who just like made that assumption without seeing much of the show, I literally chose Babylon's screenshot for that reason, because he just looks so weird and out of yeah. place in the show. <laughs> and he makes me so uncomfortable. I was like, right, well, I'm putting you on the griller. I can definitely So see yeah, it. good job guys for, for pinning number three as the fake. I'm glad I fooled some people. I, I'm happy with that outcome. I thought I was gonna get nobody. All right, Marie, you volunteered to go next, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be sending is uh, from my childhood comfort show uh, called Ojama Jodoremi. It's an anime series by Toei from 1999, I believe. Uh, but yeah, this show is very important to me. It, I think it's very obvious if you've ever seen my art that this is like my main inspiration. You mentioned this one to us previously, and as soon as I looked it up, mm. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <it all> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> so oh cute. yeah. All oh, of yeah, these are adorable. <laughs> Immediately, I'm looking at the third one. It's a, the third one looks a bit a bit off, but don't you guys think? Like a bit slanted or something. The proportions, I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't look. It might be another case of the let's choose the in between. Uh, uh, you got to we got to think about this. That yeah, is, that is the play, right? You gotta you want to choose real ones that look fake and make fake ones that look real. I'm having a little think about number one. That's like the first one that I was like, hmm, because that line art, it looks a little bit lighter, but I'm not sure if that's just like because the colors of the character are darker. Number one looks like the most well drawn out of them, but this is an <laughs> old show and I, we, we can't expect much from like these old shows to like draw them really well. So I'm thinking just because it looks the best, you, you drew number one because it looks like like really like everything's well made but you know when they make in this anime i'm sure they are pumping out these drawings in like two minutes and rushing them like you can see with number three and everything so i think it's number one i think my money is on number one because of the coloring of the outline if you look in the hair for instance the outline color is quite brown it sort of clashes a bit with the gray hair i would say normally with these kind of shows made on cell on on a physical cell you're dealing with actual ink and paint and typically in an anime we try to keep different colored inks to a minimum because that just you know makes extra complication and so often what you'll see in screenshots of sort of old uh, cartoons is the colors will bleed into the outline and make them appear sort of to be not a uniform color across the frame. It's sort of not a deliberate choice by the animators. We got Sherlock Holmes in this call. Another sense. thing for the first one, we are lacking that delicious JPEG compression. That, <laughs> that delicious like crunch of a low there quality is, image. Yes. <laughs> uh, there, there is a degree of missing crust to this particular illustration. That I reckon I'm going to go with number one. Yep, same here. Yes. Official response is, it's too good to be real.
So the reason why I chose Ojama do Doremi as the anime I wanted to make the screenshot for is because um, its lead artist slash character designer slash key animator is my favorite artist ever. Uh, Umakoshi Yoshihiko Sensei, he's like great. I really like his work. And I think you can see very clearly if you look at my art style that it has like very clear inspirations from him. I actually own one of his art books, the Toy Animations one. So I used his actual sketches as reference for my own sketch instead of like the finished um, screenshot. Line art was the most tricky thing and I think it's probably what's gonna give me away. I basically went on to the Clip Studio Paint Asset Store and I searched for anime cell brush and that's what I used for the line art. It's a very textured brush which I think did not work out in my favor very well. For the coloring, I actually cheated a little bit. This screenshot that I'm drawing is actually part of a sequence with like several characters with the sunset behind them. And I call this character is originally in that sequence. So what I did was I got the original screenshot where she's at and I color picked it. Then I went on Photoshop, did some color correction and blurs and that's it. I couldn't fool anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks really like good. Like we had to it's nitpick. Your it. art's too poppin'. <laughs> Harry all had to look <laughs> at the the gosh damn like ink in between the lines and the colors and stuff. Like you do a very good job matching the style. Yeah, thank you. I I, I kind of already knew that I was gonna like get caught from the lines because <laughs> um, I figured they looked very different. It's honestly kind of cool that like what differentiates it is like mostly just technicalities though. Like yeah. we've pretty much been able to like replicate the style, especially this one. Oh my gosh. It this looks one, so I, legit. I, oh. I'm a very try hard when it comes to Doremi. <laughs> so the, my second screenshot is from a different show. This one is called Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Uh, yes. um, it still belonged to Gainax before they founded Studio Trigger. So, you know, old show, I think it's from 2010. So way more, more modern than Doremi. So basically the premise is that this is an anime based on like American cartoons. Characters are very sassy, very funny. And I drew Stocking. She's one of the main characters. Um, this is so cute. <laughs> I have no no clue actually which one of the fake one is. Has Mary like outbrained us all and just put three fakes in? <laughs> I mean three reels in. That one would be so just, mean. Just the the giant brain strategy, don't draw anything, just put screenshots. <laughs> If I had to guess, I think the first one is just the colors look like more vibrant than the other two. Like the other two, the hair blue is very, it's like more on the gray side. And then the first one, it's much more vibrant. But I don't, I don't know if that's just the scene, if they were in like a snowy environment and the other ones that made the colors different. So it's I kind don't know. of tricky because I'm seeing a lot of discrepancies between the colors, but it's not linked to like a specific one. Because if you look at the first two, the eye color is sort of like this turquoisey color but then in the last one it sort of phases a bit more towards purple and becomes like that true blue yeah but then the middle one the hair is faded so there's like there's the color discrepancy so what do i choose okay actually one more thing i'm trying to look at like the like if you drew this character on model uh they're like three hair stripes for two of the screenshots they're kind of like thick but on the first one they're a bit thinner so that might be the one you've drawn i don't know if you match the the character one for one well you also don't know if the animation studio matched the character one for one <laughs> yeah. Maybe they didn't either. i have my suspicions about the first one I think it looks possibly a little less compressed than the other two. Not gonna lie, you know I'm on mm. that compression and I was like sniffing these out. <laughs> they all look kind of like suspiciously similar. Just because the eyes are like a completely different color of blue, I think I'm gonna go with the third one. Also because the fringe is sort of like a little bit like curved up just in the middle rather than it being one big swooping shape like I'm seeing in the other screenshots. So, you know, just to mix it up, just so we're not all landing on the <laughs> So we not all fail ones. at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll choose three. I'll choose three. For my second screenshot, I chose the anime Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt because much like Ojama Jodoremi, it is a huge inspiration for me and my own style. For the pose and the idea, I decided to look up sketches from Yoshinari Yo Sensei, who is a director at Studio Trigger. He was also a concept artist, animation director, and key animator for Panty and Stalking. I thought the idea of her like eating chips was really, really cute because Stalking is basically this like very lazy character who likes to eat a lot and doesn't 
want to be bothered. And there are a lot of existing scenes in the anime with this specific background with like the couch and the pictures behind it. So I thought that if I use this background, maybe it could fool some of the people who already knew the anime. For the line art, I genuinely have no idea how they achieved like these different thicknesses and uh, what kind of tools they use. So I just used my regular tools and did it manually. I don't think they used this method on the anime because it feels like it's very time consuming and not very productive. But you know, it worked out for me. It's okay. <laughs> Finally, for the colors, I went for the same method as before. I took different screenshots of the anime and color picked. Some color adjustments and blurs on Photoshop later and that's it. First of all, Zeppi, thank you so much for taking one for the team. Because otherwise no I would get zero points. Oh, it was that one. <laughs> yeah, it is number one. Um, it's interesting that the, the stuff that you guys mention uh, is actually still in model. The, like, the size of the, like, the fringe, um, stripes, all that stuff. It's stuff that is in model, but I guess in other screenshots, so I kind of, like, it kind of backfired a little bit. <laughs> For so... what it's worth, I was this close to changing my vote to number two, so... <laughs> yeah, this one was you, so you convincing. Job. I'm flattered, thank yeah, you that guys as well, so but I, I'm, I'm still awful at this, <laughs> but I appreciate it. All right, I guess that leaves me, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, this is an old, classic. like, Mickey Mouse show? Ah, uh, it they're just the Mickey Mouse shorts, but it's the old, old ones. Oh, they're all so compressed. <laughs> there is, there's oh nothing standing out, like, I, which, they all look so real. Okay, which one? I'm not gonna lie, I think, I think number ones are red herring. It's just the one that's too simple, you know? I reckon with his expertise in drawing, like, this sort of style, You'd probably want to cash in on a background and then chuck a red herring like that top one in. I do That's think I recognize me, the scene though. I think the scene on the plane is like really iconic. At least I recognize <laughs> it somewhat with like Mickey and Minnie on the on the plane. I'm looking at the the last screenshot and has that guy skewered off Mickey's pants with his sword? How has this happened? <laughs> and I would be surprised if this is the one you choose. You've decided to add that. <laughs> okay, they're all too good. If I had to pick one though, I maybe number two? Because it's the only it's the only one where all the characters are like completely centered on screen while the other ones are like cropped or something. It's re it is so hard to tell. I have to sh have a shot in the dark and just say number two. <laughs> this is so tricky. I need to sleep on this. This is really hard. Yeah, get back to us in 24 hours. We'll come up with, with, <laughs> with something. <laughs> I think I'm going to go Barry with number has... two because of the way some things are drawn. I don't know if that's how they would be drawing them. I, I have to go to the top or the bottom one. You know, I can't I can't risk the the <laughs> the triple <of> knockout. <laughs> <laughs> I think for Mickey's feet in the last one, it's looking a little bit square on our left. And for the sake of time, I will choose three. With Steamboat Willie brute forcing its way into the public domain, whether the Mouse House likes it or not, I thought the classic Mickey shorts would be a fun place to kick things off. It calls for replicating the look of a hand-inked animation cell, as well as digitally emulating the hand-painted look of the backgrounds. Trickier yet, it needs to be artificially aged to resemble degraded footage from a century ago, along with the crunchy video compression that typically accompanies film of that vintage. It was a bit of a thorny task, but I'd like to think I did a passable job. Even even though I guessed that one, it was purely a shot in the dark. Like I have to be honest. Like it is so like well, I don't know. How, I don't even know how you compressed it and put it in like the style like that. It is just it's uh, it's very I, well made. I saved it out as a video file and uh, in Google Drive, if you've ever used that, it previews using oh the YouTube player. <laughs> so I used YouTube compression. Oh my goodness, wow. that's a smart way to do it. But yeah, you captured the style like perfectly. The one thing that made me think it might have been this one is like just the way the background perspective is like feels very freehand, which you know all of them are because people like didn't do digital art at the time, obviously. I would believe that they would probably like like if they were to make a background like this, they would probably like use a ruler, you know, the same way they used for the plane. Did you did you do the background um digitally? Yes. Oh. Dang. Yeah, no, it just looks like pencil on paper. Yes, no, it's it's entirely created digitally. Very good. Kudos. Wow. I'm glad you were last, because <laughs> I feel like this is the, the hardest. <laughs> <Just following this. laughs> I'm scared for round two. I'm shaking. Okay, I'll jump into the other one. 
Oh, barely on oh. parents. Oh. It can't be like number two, right? Because that's just too basic. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't just draw Timmy Turner with all these really? other. I, I other was, I was inclined themes. for that one. <laughs> Why would you, you draw? Dare to just Why draw would you Timmy draw Turner? Timmy Turner when you can draw Cosmo with a banana? It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking number one, two. Something's just a little bit like, hello there, I'm fake. Oh, this is really good. I'm gonna have to take another shot in the dark. This, maybe the background colors, any of them look different. They're all just like the same blue, right? This is definitely no amateur stuff. This is this is color picked. <laughs> it's yeah. Bulletproof. I think I'm gonna go with number two. Mr. Timmy Turner. I might go with, yeah, I might also go with number two. Just because, I don't know. Yeah, I'll think number two. The other two just look too like, like, like they're real scenes in the show. I'm looking at the eyes, and the one on number one, the left eye is like a little bit not a perfect circle, whereas the last two look like they've just been drawn by like an ellipse tool. And if we're thinking about like animation production, if they had a circle tool, why would they bother with drawing the circle and making it a little bit uneven? That's why I'm going with number one. So all the votes have been cast? Yeah. Fairly Odd Parents as an art style I've already mimicked a few times on my own channel, so I figured I might actually have a shot at putting one over on Sky and the Gang with this one. The show features highly stylized character designs with fairly simple geometric features and hefty outlines around their outside. The flat graphic style of the backgrounds from this program are quite easily identifiable and are thus replicatable. Is that a word? Replicatable? Replicable? Repl uh, you know what I mean. <gasps> oh! Hey! <laughs> Let's go! So we it's got number it. one. Eyeballs! Yep. It, you, you were correct. The uh, the eyeballs were were freestyle, though the show I think is pretty inconsistent on that. Actually, it looks so, so legit, though. Yeah, I was so does. prepared to be like, dang, wronged again. But yeah, oh my gosh, this this one I, it could be like any. Honestly, damn, good job. Yeah. I'm very impressed with all of your guys' like screenshots. Like all of them were so hard to tell which one was real and which one was fake. Yeah, no, I'm I'm actually I'm quite taken aback. I was a little bit ready for a bit of a cakewalk, like <laughs> really. How, well, I just didn't know how good people uh, were going to be at this because it's you know obviously not easy. Yeah. The the deception was uh, was quite successful. <laughs> Yeah, I would say so. We successfully bamboozled each other. I feel like I have trust issues now. <laughs> <laughs> now those are some pretty convincing screenshots, if I do say so myself. Did any of them fool you? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, and before you go, make sure to check out my Patreon for sneak peeks of upcoming videos and a bunch of other behind the scenes stuff. Link is in the description. But yeah, as always, that's the end of the video. Bye!